daytime on the beach. Look at them, enjoying their novelties and their relative safety. Yeah, sure, I could be one of them. I could enjoy relative safety too, but I'm not. I'm me. They say nothing is more dangerous than a tiger shark. They call them the people killers, leg eaters, the terror of the open water. I call them surfing buddies. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was a cool announcement trailer. Yeah, it was something all right. But uh, that wasn't a tiger shark. That was a great white. Yeah, I changed it to a tiger shark in the script. Everyone uses great whites. We need to stand out. Well, I'm not changing my art. You fix your script, Kevin. Tiger sharks aren't even as dangerous as great whites. Oh, you can train them to run contraband, though. Wait, really, Joan? And look, it's still a shark. That's the important thing. All right, circle up, everyone. As you all know, we announced surfing with sharks today. Reception has been wonderful. The internet loves it. That's totally not true, but it's good for morale to tell you that. Now, I know it's been a rough few weeks for you all. We faced hard deadlines, crashing builds, technical downtime. And Javier exploded, too. Don't forget about Javier. His desk has been covered in blood all week. Look, I'm sure he's fine. Also, this meeting isn't about Javier. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you all about. Javier. Huh? Yeah, a week is a long time without an animator, so... I'm happy to introduce to you all Midge. Our new animator. So, Javier's not coming back. Explosions will do that. That bastard still owes me ten bucks. Okay, look, everyone, it's company policy not to talk about Javier anymore. Midge is the new Javier. Everyone say hello. Hi, Midge. Hi, uh, I thought this was for an interview. This is Shovelworks Studios, right? Midge here comes highly recommended. Anything Javier could do, <laughs> I'm sure she could handle. Just make her feel welcomed. Any questions? Yeah, what do we do about all the people outside? People? What people? I don't know. A crowd of people just showed up a few minutes ago. God oh, damn it, why does this always happen to us? Well, don't make eye contact and maybe they'll go away, I don't know. Kevin, you deal with it. And make sure Midge is all set up. Back to work, everyone. Well, I guess it's been a few months. I wonder what they want this time. Last time, it was because our game didn't have a sewer level. Uh, yeah, I'm not changing my mind on that one. Not every game needs a sewer level. <sighs> guess I'll see how good the noise canceling is on my headphones. All right. Well, Midge, uh, I'm not sure what Jeb wants me to do with you. <laughs> I'm not even on the art team. Just so you know, I wasn't kidding. I was told by the recruiter that this was literally supposed to be an interview. Well... We work quick. Some might say rush. Pylon, any ideas on how to handle the fans outside? Uh, bribery? Mm, can't afford that. They sure don't look like fans out there. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't keep coming by every few months if they weren't passionate about our games. Look, Midge, why don't you, uh, go meet your coworkers while Pylon and I brainstorm? You'll probably be working a lot with Viper, so be sure to say hello to him. Oh, uh, all right? Look, I can't promise I'll remember your name, but that's okay. I've got a lot of thinking going on up here about boss things. Why don't you go say hi to some of your teammates? Huh, I've never seen a game studio with a dumbwaiter. Big design ideas. An end? Huh. Looks like this meeting room doesn't get used very often. Are you one of the developers here? 
No, I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Hi, I'm Joan. I've been working in the industry since the 90s, but I've only been here a few years. I'm Midge. I've apparently been working here for 10 minutes. I really thought it would be harder to get this job. Oh dear, no. You haven't read much about our studio, have you? Not really, no. Well, you'll learn. We have a bit of a reputation. Oh, okay. Okay, this guy didn't really explode. Did he? Didn't that actually happen? I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. I'm the best there is at what I do, and I don't suffer incompetent fools. Are you incompetent? Hi, Viper. I'm Midge, and no, I don't think so. I'll be the judge of that. Look, if you're gonna fill in Javier's shoes in animating my masterpieces, then you need to prove to me you know what you're doing, okay? A good pose is crucial to properly showing off my work. I have a lot of action figures, mostly from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. Show me you know how to make badass poses by posing them. This is Bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? You know, Bloody Chuck from Sweaty Blood has a... Hi, Midge. Welcome to the studio. First, don't listen to anything Kevin tells you. He's a lying, heartless bastard. Second, we don't have the budget for a new computer, so you'll have to use Javier Station. I guess that makes sense. It's still covered in blood, but you can worry about that later. Oh, all right. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, look, no offense, uh, Midge, was it? I'm trying to get some stuff done. Yeah, we keep our foam dart guns in there. This looks like the audio room. They may be recording in there. There's a note here. Warning, Sally is feisty today. Huh, I wonder which one Sally is. Whoa, this thing needs to be cleaned. Hey, cool. A MIT-32C graphing gaming device. Been years since I saw one of these. This box of Hugbot cereal expired three years ago. It just goes to a supply closet. Hi there, I'm back. So, can we talk about the last animator? Oh, Javier? Uh, right. So, should I be worried about what happened to him? Oh, no. Spontaneous combustion just happens sometimes. Animators just do that, you know? It's the stress. Can I have his chair? What? No. That's going to be Midge's chair. I don't think people just explode. There's no time for dwelling on the past. We need to think of a way to deal with those people outside. Why should she get the good chair? I've been here much longer. Can't you just go talk to them? <laughs> Talking never solves anything. Oh, maybe we can camouflage the studio. Or hire a velociraptor. Look, I'm just 
gonna go ask them what they want. Wow, this is a big crowd. Where did you all come from? Oh, a developer. This is the New England chapter of the Global Internet Fandom Coalition. This is what we do. We're a mobile fan club. Really? Shovelworks Studios has their own fan club. Of course not. We're a generic group. We go where we're needed. Today was slow, and Linda loves sharks. It's true! So you're fans of... sharks? Yes, absolutely. At least today. Did you really think you could pass off a great white as a tiger shark? Great whites have pointy heads! I mean, seriously, has the game industry lost all reason? Hey, everyone! What do we want? Fix the shark! Yes! Fix the shark! Oh, wanna buy a t-shirt? It's 100% cotton. Um, no, not really. <laughs> You're a loss. Look, you think you can get away with everything. Well, you got a choice. Either fix that shark, or cancel the game. <laughs> cancel the game? We can't do that. It's just starting to come together. Maybe you could just fix the shark. No, it must be a tiger shark. Tigers are cool. Yeah, canceling things would totally compromise our vision. Pylon, hey! What? They're right. It's a great white, not a tiger shark. And it's a cool shirt. Okay, so tell me about this game. Ah, you're intrigued. Excellent. You know your Endless Runner games, right? Those mobile titles where you always race to the right and tap to jump over things and, and try and last as long as you can? Yeah, so it's like that. It's an Endless Runner, but the twist is... Wait for it. There's an end. That's it? You're making an endless runner with an end? I call it an endful runner. Or maybe just endy runner? Well, whatever. The community is ultimately who decides a new subgenre's name. We just have to make the game no one realized they wanted. I love making games no one wants. So, yeah, I'm not so sure I'm the best fit for this place. It seems a bit intense. Oh, you'll get used to it. Everyone here is great. With the exception of Viper. And all of the engineers. And the boss. And the tiger shark. And the occasional spontaneous combustion of animators. But otherwise, it's great. Also, look, we need you, Midge. This game, this is gonna be a hit. But only if we have a good animator. That's why Javier was so important. What's in the fridge? Free soda. Guys, they're getting restless out there. I don't think they're gonna leave on their own this time. Right. How do you calm down a crowd of fans? Well, everyone gets angry when they're hungry. Could we try feeding them? There's granola in the kitchenette, but that's not gonna go very far. I have a lot of ketchup. We can make ketchup granola stew. Seriously? That's revolting. Not if you add salsa. Salsa will give it body. Okay, okay. Granola, ketchup, and salsa. Does anyone know how to cook? Oh, I do. Does anyone except for Pylon know how to cook? I can do it, team. I can do it. Okay, look. Why don't both of you handle this? Wait, uh, oh, okay. Here, add some pepper. One more thing for the pot. We present spicy granola stew. Ah. Uh. Oh, how does it taste? Yeah, I'm not tasting that. Ugh, me neither. I think it's pretty good. And we could serve Ridgy potato chips on the side. That's a good idea. Everyone loves Ridgy potato chips. Okay, time to serve up some guests. Let's do this. Isn't that bad? Okay, that that was a terrible idea. Let me at him. I'll chase him off. Or you could change the shark. Oh no. What's going on? Code red. Peter's down to two out of ten. What happened? What made it drop? Hey, 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 hey. Where are the news? Terrible game studio tries to poison upset fans. That's not true at all. Yeah, they're not our fans. It's the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. If we fix the shark, will you stop being mad? We'll always be mad. What? Why? Your game isn't as good as Witcher 3. Uh, Pylon, 
We're out of options. You don't mean what I think you mean, right? We have no choice. We need to ask the engineers for help. Mitch, quick! Go to the supply closet and get an intern! A what? An intern! We keep them in the supply closet. Francine has the key. Tell Kevin to keep it down already. Uh, sure. Can you unlock the supply closet? I need to get something. Sure. Knock yourself out. to tell folks about my time as an intern. you in turn. To convince the lead engineer to help us. The programming department only communicates by handwritten requests delivered via dumbwaiter with an offering. Do I get to work on the game now? Uh, sure. Look, Mitch, we need to get them to the dumbwaiter. Right, okay. A dumbwaiter. You really think the lead engineer can talk some sense into the crowd? Oh, no, no, no. That's not safe. No one is allowed to talk to the engineers here. They've got barrel! But the lead engineer has other means to solve our problems. You'll see. Or you could just change the shark. What? Be reasonable, Midge. Mayday, Mayday, we got company! That's the last time you poison anyone. With your food or your game. If you won't fix the shark, we will. We need to keep the intern away from the crowd. Awesome to me if they get close. Ugh. Or me. Throw the crate. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Me. Oh. Fix your game and this will all be over, developers. Oh no! Ow. I wasn't expecting a boss oh. fight! He's enraged! That makes him immune to pain! There are too many of them! Viper? Alright, you dweebs! You're embarrassing me! Go! Get the payload to the target! I'll show you how you deal with a the crowd! They're all yours, Viper! Go! Quick! To the dumbwaiter! Time for you to earn that paycheck you don't get. In turn. Wait, he's the offering? We've done this before, Midge. Send him down, Pylon. The door! It's not gonna hold! What do we do? Hold on. Give them time. The lead engineer will do something. Just wait. Come on, do something. Holy crap. Someone leaked costume photos for the Racer Chase movie adaptation. They got rid of Chase's unibrow! They can't do that. That's Chase's defining trait. How dare they? Who do they think they are? All chapters mobilized. This is a code Foxtrot, condition Omega. Pack it up, folks. Let's go. Racer Chase needs us. We will avenge this travesty. Don't they know how important unibrows are? <laughs> Thank you.
They're heading out. <sighs> See? The lead engineer always finds a way. Hey, hey! Someone leaked news about the new Razor Chase movie. Ah, the old distraction trick. Clever. The lead engineer did that? The lead engineer works in mysterious ways. Oh my god! What happened to him? Quick, call for help! It's fine. They just have a lot of bones down there. How is that fine? How is any of this fine? We send one whenever we need something from the engineers. Schools just keep sending them to us. We're low right now, but we'll get another shipment eventually. Come buy a poker night. We use them as chips. Look, I could see past the thing with the animator and your fan club and the thing growing in the kitchen, and even the fact that this is apparently the worst game studio in existence. But this is too much. This is where I check out. I'm out of here. Midge, wait! Wait a sec! What? See that counter up there? Yeah, what about it? That's tied to an algorithm that takes into account focus testing, mock reviews, A-B results, and a hundred other factors in order to create a predictor of our expected score. It's just three out of ten. That's terrible. It is. We've never had any of our games score above three out of ten. But not anymore. Not with this project. This project is different. I thought review scores didn't matter anymore. They matter to the people I went to high school with. I will show them. This game will be a hit. Ugh. But it needs a good animator to tie it all together, Midge. Well, you'll have to find someone else. Midge, j just wait. So, just say it. This is all the tiger shark's fault. Wait, really? Well, why don't we just change the shark? Um... <laughs> Look, I can't do this. These people are terrifying. There's something growing in the refrigerator, and there is some sort of ritual involving interns, and who knows what's going on with their basement. You know that's not what we want to hear, Miss Potter. You had a role, and we had an agreement. Yeah, well, that agreement didn't mention half the crap going on in there. Your job was a simple one. The director will be disappointed, but not surprised. What does that mean? We've been assembling a file on you, Miss Potter. Your interests go far beyond animation. Some of those extracurricular activities you partake in, those come with long prison sentences. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure. Our file is quite interesting. Photos, videos, documents. Your local police department would find it fascinating. Is this blackmail? This is a friendly warning. You know what we're capable of. This is bigger than you and me, Miss Potter. Go join them. Gain their trust. Work with them. But remember, they must never make a good game. They don't need me for that. I don't think you understand. This is the most important job you've ever had. If they make a good game, it will be the end of everything. Get your ass in here. What's up, Francine? Oh, hey, a new shipment of interns is here. Just in time for poker night. Really? I hadn't noticed. Now get these damn things out of here, please. What's with the wall of interns? The mailman just started building this around me. That looks surprisingly stable for, you know, being built of interns. Hello in there. Are any of you particularly meaty? The programmers love the meaty ones. Oh, no, not this again. You can't just feed interns to the engineers whenever you need something. Uh, that's how it's always been done. It's called the circle of life. It is not. Francine, back us up here. I don't care what you do with office supplies. They're not office supplies. They're people. Look, if you want me to stay on as your new animator, then no more sacrificing interns. We can't just do nothing with the crates. After a couple weeks, they start smelling. Well, I don't know. Return them to the sender. Hey, you in there. Me? Yeah, you. What school are you from? Center of the Institute to the uh, Academy of the Higher University of Games? You don't know what school you're from? It keeps rebranding. Just check the return label. Center of the Institute to the Academy of Higher University of Games. Huh. He wasn't kidding. Hey, they're here in town. Great. 
Let's just go there, give them these crates back, and tell them we don't need any more interns. Knock yourself out. I've got better things to do. Fine. Okay, well, we can't carry all these crates ourselves. Let's recruit some of the others. And then, we're going back to school. I only have time to talk about purely hypothetical philosophical design questions. Hi, Viper. We need you to come with us to bring back all these crates. I don't do errands. Uh, it's not an errand. We were hoping you could help us, you know, convince them. Whoa, whoa. You mean like you need some muscle? My snot kicking radar just dinged. Your what? My snot kicking radar detects the likelihood of snot kickery happening. If there's going to be any snot kicking, I need to be the kicker, okay? Hey, combat scenarios are all yours, big guy. I'll go get my crowbar. Timothy, do you want to come with us to return these pet crates? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Joan, could you help us bring all these interns back to the center of the Institute to the Academy of Higher University of Games? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still banned from that campus. Uh, oh. Too bad. Hey there, new employee. How's your first week going? Don't tell me. I actually don't have time to listen. I've got to get in the right mindset for signing things. Uh... That means you leave my office now, new employee. When I'm signing things, I get really in the zone. It's like I don't even know you're there. You up for a field trip? Uh, sure. I have to wait for my lighting to finish baking anyway, so... Excellent! I had no idea there was a game design school this close. So, I couldn't find my crowbar, but I brought my bat. You can't bring that on a college campus. It's an essential piece of sporting equipment, okay? Dude, it's covered in nails and says Bloody Mary on it. Seriously? Bloody Mary is a character from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. You watch your mouth when you talk about her. I really don't think we'll need that, Viper. You're scary enough without it. Yeah, I am. I can turn anything in my environment into a weapon. See this seatbelt? I could make you choke on it, if I wanted to. Um, why don't we bring him again? No one is going to choke anyone. We're just going to show up, hand them these interns, and leave. There won't be any violence. They always say that. Do we even know how to get to this place? Uh, where are we going?
Where did half my team go? They went out to some college to go return some interns. We have interns? Not anymore. Well, whatever. Francine, I need you to hold all my calls for the next half hour. I'm signing things, and I need to get into the zone. You don't get any calls? I need focus. Hold my emails, too. I guess I could unplug the router. Right. Absolute focus. That's how you get stuff done. Hmm. Looks pleasant enough. Don't see too many students, though. Man, it's a video game college. You expect anyone to be outside? Fair point. All right. There's probably some kind of business relations clerk or something. Oh, there's a tour. Let's ask the guide. We come now to our newly refurbished Provost West building, named after yours truly, in honor of my record-breaking dedication to our shareholders and students. Do you actually make video games here? Don't be ridiculous. That's unhygienic. But you train them for real game development, right? Because what little Robbie wants, little Robbie gets. We adhere to strict principles of higher instruction, including a rigid curriculum of theory. The more rote task of learning which buttons to push is delegated to our robust internship program. So many big words. Impressive. Wait, you're saying you don't even train the students? Our instruction is of the highest quality among schools with a similar accreditation rating. Oh, God, is this a for-profit school? Your questions are making me uncomfortable, so I'm going to ignore you now. Wait, who are you all? You look old for prospective students. It's never too late to go back to school, okay? Not if you have good credit. Why do you have a robot? Oh, that's my automated recruitment assistant. He's not ex-military, and don't you dare imply that he is. He's a recruiting agent. Sweet missiles. Uh, studies show that there's a direct correlation between missiles and enrollment. Look, we're just here to return our interns. You keep sending them to us, and we don't want them. We're from a game dev studio across town. Uh, Midge doesn't want us to keep feeding them to the engineers. Engineers have to eat too, don't they? That's what I said! Are these game devs? Like, real game devs? You make Cool Border. My son wants to work on Cool Border. I thought you said you had 100% job placement among graduates. We do. We're creating a workforce for tomorrow. Our guaranteed internship program directly leads to job placement. We've never hired any of our interns. Oh, we do use them as poker chips sometimes, though, which is close. Recruitus Maximus, escort these hecklers off campus, would you? Affirmative will destroy. Eh, quick, scatter! Moving out. I think we're safe. Now, where the hell are we? <sighs> Lost. Where's everyone else? Weren't they behind you? I wasn't running, okay? I was chasing you. Man, I didn't say anything about that. Look, military-grade robots weren't part of the deal. You can't snot kick a robot. Man, let's just get out of here, all right? Yeah, whatever. Okay, this campus can't be that big. We went down the hill, then between those two dorms, then into here, Hey, intern, do you know where we are? I've never been to this part of the school. Hopefully the others will go back to the car. So, we find the car, wait for them, get the hell out of here. All right, so which way is the car? Could ask the old dude in there. Huh? What? Man. Whew, that thing was terrifying. Where are Ben and Viper? God, we will forever mourn their loss. 
Can we stop at Best Buy on the way home? Can't we just leave the interns in some corner and go, Midge? No, we need to make sure that we put them somewhere where they won't get ignored. Like the middle of a street. Like a classroom. Let's find an empty one and put them there. Then someone else will find them later. All right. Well, let's find a classroom then. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mermaid Sushi here, back with only the most killer tips, tutorials, and tricks for game dev. Just got a quick lesson today about how to activate the perspective viewpoint in the very real game editor today. Just a quick one, but first, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell for updates. Okay, now before we get into it, I just want to say I couldn't have done this tutorial without the help of my boy, Squeezy Cheese 96 What up, dog? Check out his channel for more awesome game dev tips. Also, I just wanted to say Ladrachio the Slayer. Okay. Anyway, so the next step to activating the very real perspective. Okay, so now that we- Definitely not that room. Aw, oh, man. There's totally a bag of chips there about to fall. It's one of the saddest things you can find on a college campus. This shows you that they care about the image of caring about a campus culture. Hey kids, my name is Triangle. I'm a basic building block of 3D modeling. I'm a flat surface made by connecting three vertices in space. Ho <laughs> ho We call them verts for short. Oh, what's this? It's my friend, Engon. Why so glum, Engon? I'm sad because no one wants me around. That's true. You introduce shading errors and add imprecision to modeling. No one really does want you around. What? That's not how you cheer up a friend. Don't worry. The GPU will automatically carve you up into little triangles anyway. Ah, it burns! It burns! Ah! Hooray! Now you're just like me. Remember, kids, sooner or later, everything turns into triangles. Definitely not that room. I'm pretty sure this plant isn't real. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know when someone new will see your work. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know if someone will see your work. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. The best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. The best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. Uh, maybe not that room. When analyzed with a proper academic eye, we see that this game is about so much more than just paddles and balls. Such a game is, in truth, a commentary on the environment in which it was made, a scathing critique of the oppressive nature of the Cold War, and a lament about government distrust. Is the human condition one in which we are perpetually juggling both offensive and defensive positions? Is the failure of our capitalistic framework resulting in a disaffected youth? Or is it vice versa? These are the questions directly asked by this game and by all games. But what about Strategic Interstellar Genocide 3? That's my favorite game. Does that have a deeper meaning? That shit will rot your brain. Uh, maybe not that one. This is how you properly stack any building material. Offset them, see? Doesn't matter if you're using bricks, cinder blocks, Legos, or soup cans. Always offset. Learning proper construction techniques will take you far in life. Uh, maybe not that room. Do you think they still use books here? 
Or do they use PDF printouts stapled together? I think this is a water fountain? I'm not sure, actually. You know, I eat cold pizza for breakfast sometimes. But not this pizza. Uh, is this seriously their curriculum? And then they send them off to us. Huh. Cool. How about that red door? That might be a good place to leave some interns. Whoa. What is this place? It's some kind of intern hacking plant. I knew these schools were churning through students. I had no idea it was this bad. Huh. There's a lot of people in here. Who are you all? Hey, dweebs. What are you doing locked up? Ben? Holy crap. Frank. Hey, Viper. I used to work with that guy. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. Frank, what the hell, man? How you been? What's with the chains, man? The what? Oh, right. The chains. Yeah, I decided to go into academia. This is pretty standard. Do you want me to, uh, you know, get you down? Nah, it's cool. We get health and dental. They let us walk around an hour a day, too. It's cool. What? Really? Totally, man. Good benefits, free parking, zero chance of having to fix show-stopping bugs at four in the morning. This is the life. Except there's no snack time. Otherwise, yeah, solid gig. So you're a teacher? Yeah, except we're not allowed to influence the lessons. But we help their accreditation rating, so they keep us here. So you're a teacher who doesn't teach. I know, it's great. Hey, Ben, you should join us. He will be joining you. You! Provost West! This is a faculty-only room. You're not faculty, are you? Come over here, so I can kick the snot out of you. That's against campus regulations. I don't think you really are game developers. We sure are. We work for Shovelworks Studios. Now out of my way. I think you both need to cool off in here while I consider what to do with you. No! Uh, probably shouldn't have told the way we work, dude. You know what they call some college a degree factory? I never thought they were being literal. Hey, come look at this. It looks like a test print for an ad or something. Compress four years of study into four days and prepare for your new career as a game designer. Huh. Wow, that sounds great. Where do I sign up? You are a game designer. What's this? Phase two proposal confidential memo. Where's the rest of it, though? Hey, help me find the other pieces for this. Sure. This is definitely more important than our personal safety. We're on it, Midge. Gotcha. Oh, wow, a real-life wooden crate. You don't find these out in the wild too much anymore. There we go. This door only opens when it's convenient for the plot. Here's one. You can't hide from me, you inanimate object. Wow. I wonder what these machines are building. Students? 
Okay, let's do this together, Pylon. You look for the missing pieces of paper. I'll delegate. Oh my god. They're planning on renting the interns out. As cubicles. I can't just stand by and watch them turn all these students into cubicles. We've got to do something. Hey! Let us out of here! It's no use. No one can hear you all the way down here. Hey, there's the intern. Intern! Get your ass over here! Man, be nice. Hey, intern. We need your help. We need you to get the keys. Steam keys? Not steam keys, you dolt. The keys to the door. We need you to go over and get the keys and bring them back to us. I'm not sure I know where the keys are. They're right there, hanging from that hook. You can see them from here. That's so far away. Is there a video tutorial about this somewhere? Just reach out and grab them. With a shovel? What the f- With your hands! Do you even see a shovel? Are we networking right now? Just get the damn keys already. Okay, I can do this. Maybe they'd be better off not being game developers, Midge. Did you think of that? Hey, help me find a way to shut this down. Cubicle walls don't have to deal with crunch or internet hate or agile development. And they have way more job security. Walls are very stable. They had to know they couldn't actually employ them all. The industry would be drowning in interns. Don't be ridiculous. You'd suffocate that drought. They're totally misrepresenting their career placement stats. That's a secret you will never live to tell. You again. We know all about your scam of a school. I know. I've been standing here for ten minutes. You've seen too much. We can't let you get away with this. We're going to stop you. We are? And I'm going to stop you from stopping me. Yeah, and, and we're gonna stop you from stopping them from stopping you. Yeah. You think you can thwart me? Well, I looked up your little company. Your boss was one of the first to sign up. What? No way. Ha! <laughs> Jeb would never sign that. Sign to the left, sign it to the right. He's gonna sign this shit. Okay, maybe he would sign that. But that doesn't change anything. Yeah, signature or not, we can't let you get away with this. Recruitus Maximus, set your missiles to kill. Viper, quick, how do you stop a half-ton ex-military-grade robot? He's not ex-military. I don't know, make the intern do it? Don't even joke about that. <sighs> Hold it, everyone stop. Violence won't solve anything. 
Hey, you can snot kick a robot! <laughs> oh, you think you're so tough because you took out my definitely not ex-military robot? Well, let's see how you do against all of my definitely not ex-military robots. Recruiters, attack! Without them, I won't be able to convince young and impressionable kids to sign up for our accelerated development program! Yeah, it was nothing, okay? Face it, you slimy administrator. This program is done. You can't stop me! My teacher-to-student ratio is superb! All my professors have terminal degrees in their fields of study! The number of times I've had sex with graduates is within acceptable limits! You can do nothing! Not if we have anything to say about it, Provost! Hey, Frank! You had a change of heart. Who let you out? Exercise hour is not until 3 p.m. Yeah, about that. We need to talk. Now is not the time for employment negotiations. Oh, but it is. Without us, that accreditation rating you're so proud of, that's toast. Two exercise hours. And snack time. And more, Provost. Things... Things are gonna change around here. Thanks for helping us offload all these interns. It's a relief to know they're in good hands. You sure you don't want to just take some back? Interns are good to have around the office. I'll take some, sure. What? Really, Viper? You hate interns. I don't know. I could make a desk out of them or something. Oh, we're not making desks out of them. Just one, then. A lot of snot kicking happened here today, okay? I need a memento. Oh, thanks. You won't regret it. Man, thanks for diffusing things, Frank. Not sure how we were gonna get out of there. It's always good to help an old friend, Ben. Don't be a stranger. Welcome back, intern. Looks like you're here for good this time. Are you sure you're okay in that crate? Yeah, I feel safe here. Well, all right. Just bounce around or something if you need anything, I guess. HR Lady Francine! Yes? Are we networking? Nope. Will I be able to work on the game now? Nope. All right, everyone, circle up. So, Kevin tells me we're halfway through development on Surfing with Sharks. Good work. Getting to the halfway point is half the battle. But I've been informed that Surfing with Sharks is not a Battle Royale game. We've talked about this. Uh, we never talked about Battle Royales. Well, we're talking about it now. I get this magazine, <laughs> the genre's gonna be big. Uh, Battle Royales are already big? Bigger. That's a fact. And if it's a fact, then you all should have seen it coming and pivoted months ago. Do you all know what a pivot is? Good term to know. But surfing with sharks is an endless runner. That's its thing. W well, endful runner. Who even knows what an endless runner is? No one, that's who. So as of today, I'm announcing big changes to surfing with sharks. It's no longer gonna be whatever it is. It'll be bigger, better, more profity. I want the gravy trains of gamer's wallets pouring down my gullet. Gross. Life is gross, Francine. But a little grossness is what this team needs. Okay, so what are these changes? Don't be cheeky, Stringbean. I'm announcing the existence of us making big changes, not the changes themselves. Starting today, we're pivoting. I'm all for improving the game, provided we can afford it and get extra time. Stop joking around. Look, it's my job to wrangle you crazy developers down to reality. It's your job to make reality work. So, like I always say, communication is the key to collaboration. Talk about this amongst yourselves. And remember, happy halfway through development day, team. Now, change everything. 
Am I missing something? Did he just tell us to turn our game into a battle royale? Jeb does this sometimes. Personally, I'm with Jeb. Everything is better with last man standing death and blood. You already made us add blood to surfing with sharks. You can never have enough blood. When the player touches the shark, they explode. Everything should explode, okay? We shouldn't change anything. We're halfway done. That'd be like starting over. Jeb didn't say we needed to specifically make it a battle royale, only that it needed to be a big pivot. Like following a big trend. Open world survival games are very trendy now. Oh god, I bet you want crafting too. We're not doing that. We could always add more story. An award-winning narrative could drive sales. Please, if we were serious about making money, we'd be making this a MOBA. Three letters. M-M-O. Class-based shooter. Boom. Done. I am not working on another class-based shooter. Why are we even having this conversation? Cute animals! We Come need on, cute animals! Shooters, shooters, please. Please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, everyone. I think I know how to solve this. Look, let's reconvene in ten minutes. Midge, I need your help. Okay, can you go around and ask everyone what they would propose to Jeb here? We need to establish teams. Teams for... what? Just humor me. Personally, I don't see what's wrong with crafting. Everyone likes a little crafting. Crafting adds depth. Crafting only slows down the death. Battle Royale is perfect for our endless surfing run or whatever. Okay. I think I know what you two would vote for. Yeah, everyone knows that gory stuff is what people want, okay? Common knowledge. Thinking about it now, I think all we need is a trendy art direction change, you know? We haven't had an art director since Jess left. Oh, yeah. It's rough missing an art director. How long ago was this? Seven years. If I had to pick something, I think open-world survival changes just fit. Can you imagine surfing with sharks with lanes and creeps and abilities? I'm all for adding MOBA elements to surfing with sharks. So it seems we're at an impasse. No one can agree on the best way to pivot the development of surfing with sharks. There's only one way to settle this. Right. Cupcake challenge. Mm, not this time, Pylon. Right here, right now, I challenge you all to a battle royale. I hate to break it to you. For a battle royale, you need over 60 people. We're... not that? We're working with what we got, okay? Listen up, everyone. Calling all champions! Shovelwork Studios is only one office suite of this old mill complex. The rest is a maze of buildings, bridges, and basement tunnels. It's perfect for a battle royale! In my copious spare time, I had foam dart guns and other gear all over the mill. Find what you can. I've paired you all up into teams based on what you want to change with Surfing with Sharks. Each team will start at a random door and work their way back to the office. The first team to reach Jeb, or the last surviving team, wins. May the winds of fortune be infinitely blowing in your direction. That's not how battle royales work at all. Save it for the arena, naysayer. I'm not scared of you. Team open world survival for life. But we're still only eight people. That isn't even a skirmish royale. Uh, wait. How many people is a skirmish? Like at least 30. And they have to be in boats. Let's call it a studio brawl. That implies bar stools and broken bottles. I say we call it a tussle rumpus. A tussle? What? Look, it doesn't matter. Shovelworks Battle Royale begins now! Look, all I'm saying is that genres have rules. Battle Royales have tons of people, and also a ring of death closing it on the battlefield. Oh, come on. Are we really going to spend the entire time nitpicking this? He named it a battle royale. It should be like a battle royale. Developers name things based on how they think they'll sell. What are you doing? Dancy boat. Huh. Okay, that's good. Um, can you not do that? No way. 
I worked hard to get these moves. You've always got to dance before the drop. It's how you get in the mood for a match. That's another thing. Battle Royales always start the match with a skydive. The drop is part of the experience. Another star! Oh! I'm gonna aim for that bus! This is the best! And another star! Another star! Well, this is my door. This complex is bigger than it looks. Yeah, it used to be an actual shovel foundry. Now it's all divided into offices, dentists, tech companies, even a coffee shop. Anyway, your door's that way. Good luck. Right, thanks. Let's go team do nothing, right, Timothy? No, I can't do that. I'm surprised you picked my team. You don't seem like a Battle Royale kind of gamer. Well, I would have picked Team MOBA, except Francine and I don't get along these days. You and I don't get along either. Yeah, but you have a better chance of winning than the others. You got that right. No one else stands a chance against me. Provided we find some good loot. Let's get hunting. Don't you know where everything is if you planted these? Yes, but this is all pretend, so I can pretend I don't know anything. Oh, look, a sniper rifle. At least he got the loot part, right? There's a repeater! Hmm. I wonder what else there is. Let's find out. Somewhere, a Baba Toaster is crying about this. Level 2 hop up here. I'll take that. Good. I don't even know what it is. This thing is awesome. Whatever it is. There's a drawing of a grenade here, or a pineapple, maybe both. I'll take it. Gearing up. I've been looking my whole life for this. I've been looking my whole life for this. Whatever this is, I must have it. Whatever this is, I must have it. Gearing up. That's just a plant, but it's a level three plant. This is a colander. It looks like the one we have back at the office. It'll make a good helmet. Tables are very good for defense, but you sacrifice a lot of mobility. Let's check this place out. Aha, found some loot. Oh, I need this. Aha, found some loot. A cardboard box? That's a bit too metal for me. This is a door to a therapist's office. You can't equip it. I found another gun. Cool. Let me have that one. No way, I need two. You always need two guns. Seriously? Ugh, fine. I'll go find my own. Again, everyone, I'm JT. This is Rebel Breeze. We're tuned here together to talk about the latest game, film, and culture news. And this is the dice bag. So tell me more about this thief. Did you learn anything else? The press gave the thief a nickname. 
The Shadow Taco. Shadow Taco? Who in their right mind would want to be called a Shadow Taco? That's not even a name you give your pug. I would give my pug that name. Anyway, they gave them that name because a security camera... Looks like we've scoured this area clean. Moving out. Now that we're getting a little deeper, we have to be prepared for an attack at any moment. I know how combat works, okay? I've been playing video games since before I was born. Sure, sure. It's, it's just, you know, be prepared for anything. <laughs> Good one. Good thing that was friendly fire. <laughs> can't be friendly fire if I'm not your friend. I'm on your team. You can't shoot me. Also, I just kicked you off my team. You can't do that. We both have to agree to dissolve the team. Stop making up new rules. Let's just go. We've got to keep moving if we're going to reach Jeb before the others. And I'm already lost. This place is a maze. Timothy, can you tell me how to get to the office? No, I can't do that. Figures. Can you even fire that gun? I'm sorry, I can't do that either. Why do I get stuck with a stupid robot? Timothy, no! Using the corpse of her fallen comrade as cover? That's dark, Midge. Heads up, she's on the move. Hey, Timothy, you gotta wait till Midge takes your token to a respawn spot. You're out! Stop moving around! No, I can't do that. Damn it, Timothy! Looks like they haven't renovated this area in a while. So, have you thought about how you'd propose changes to Jeb? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The winner has to propose their idea to Jeb? No one said anything about that. It's not like we can just change the game without getting him on board. We do that all the time. True, but this time Jeb asked about it, so we've got to talk to him about what we want to do. I actually don't want to do that. No. I don't like to talk to Jeb any more than I have to. And I don't care that much about this. I thought you wanted more blood in surfing with sharks. No amount of violence makes talking to Jeb enjoyable. Might as well shoot me now. What? That's right. Shoot me. Stop joking around. Oh, what? Never shot anyone in a foam dart battle royale before? Blah, this your first time? Uh, first, I think Pylon said it was a scuffle royale. And, sure. Like, uh, all the time. Lies! Shoot me, you coward! No! Shoot me! I can't. We're on the same team. I'm pivoting. I quit the team. Shoot me! No! Shoot me, damn you! <laughs> Get away from me! Coward! I'll find you! <sighs> and make you shoot me. She's pinned down pretty good. She's impossible to hit. There's no way to get her out from behind that robot. Maybe I can lure her out with my dance moves. Please don't. I got this. You can't wall run in a battle royale? Oh, crap! <laughs> you can't in mine, sucker. It's my perk. How come I didn't get a perk? I don't know. Guess your character just sucks, dude. Sucks to be you. Shoot me! <laughs> Who's there? Stop wasting bullets, Kevin. <laughs> Joan! Where are you? Where did you get a laser sight? My car. What? Ah! Run, little bird. Run. Run right to where I want you. I see you. Ah! Who's there? Nope, nope, nope. Shoot me! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Run, little bird. Run, little bird. Run, Go away! Shoot me! Shoot me! Midge, wait! 
Don't shoot. Why? I'm being followed. Yeah, so am I. Okay, look, I've got a plan. Couldn't I at least have some bullets? And arm my bait? No way. Hey, hey, it's our office's back door. We're nearly there, Midge. Someone's coming. Just act natural. Hello? Oh, Timothy, thank God. I thought it was someone else. Yipe! We found a vehicle! <laughs> a pylon! Ben! <laughs> Hi, guys. Time for you to meet the great designer in the sky, Kevin. Wait! Time out! I'm, I'm doing the hands! No, time out, said Scuffle Royale. Whoa, whoa, pylon! Look out! <laughs> pylon! Damn you all the hell! <laughs> Cripes! Come on, come on, where the hell are you? Ow! Two down. Your turn, Kevin. Joan, wait. I think we can come to some agreement here. Sure, an agreement where you're pretend dead. Hey. Huh? Y'all still need me? What are you doing, man? You're out. I know, I know, I know, but I got a dentist appointment in like 15, so I got a jet. Oh, cool, yeah, totally. Good luck, dude. Oh, don't forget to floss. Now, back to you, Kevin. Eep! Hey, think fast, Joan. No, it can't be. No! <laughs> Let's make this painless, Kevin. If I win, we don't do anything to the game at all. Pivoting doesn't mean starting from scratch. I kind of think it does. It doesn't matter. You have no weapon. No ammo. No chance. Hey, loot! Stop breaking me off! On guard, Midge. Who says that? If only I still had my trusty sniper rifle. I'm ten feet away. Ow! Finally, I'm somebody. What's all that noise? What are you two doing? Uh, communicating. Looks like you're having a battle. Technically, it's a scuffle. Don't mind me, I'm just spectating. <clears throat> uh, this is an important part of making a game. Soon, we'll have a winner to present to you. There's a winner? Huh. I'm gonna go into my office now. Yeah, carry on. So, it's come to this. Sorry to bring you out of retirement, old gals, but we have work to do. What the hell is that? Run! <laughs> Pylon, what are you doing here? I'm hiding from our boss! But you already died. Tell him that! <laughs> Ow! What the hell? Acorns? He's firing acorns? Who does that? I was born for this moment! We're pinned. There's no way out. Well, it's down to just you two anyway. Oh, really? Wait, where's Francine? Don't give up. All we need is a distraction. Uh, Pylon, go distract him. No way, did you see those acorns? Those are Northern Red Oak. You only live once. Go! You too, Midge! Buy me some time to think of a plan. I've always wanted to kick your butt, whatever your name is. Aw, oh, quick, Midge, use this! Ow. Take this! Oh, Ow. Ouch! Take this! Ha oh. ha! <laughs> I was born for this moment! I didn't 
win because you're terrible. What? We surrender? Why did you make Pylon go out there? I needed time to think of a plan. And that plan was to surrender? Uh, yeah, it just took a while to think of it. There's no surrendering on my watch! You're only winning because you have a big gun! I'm winning because I'm crushing you! Shoot me! Holy crap! I don't want to talk to you, so shoot me! What's wrong with him? You said communication is the key to collaboration. This is what communicating looks like, okay? Shoot me! I'm pivoting, damn it! Well, I'm glad to see you're so eager, young man. Communicate this. Ow! Joan, you were eliminated! Oh, no, no. My other arm was eliminated. It's tough to use my offhand, but victory was worth it. I win. That's not how battle royales work. Cowards! All of you! Cowards! Wait. Uh, Joan's the winner? The winner was the first to reach you. And shoot me? That part I did for fun. All of you are whiny baby developers. You make games for babies. But now that I'm champion, I can propose my pivot idea. Oh, let's hear it. Otters. Uh, otters. Otters. Otters? Otters. River otters? Oh, yeah, river otters? Sure. Why otters? Oh, otters are next year's kitten. Let's get ahead on the cuteness trend. I like the cut of your jib, Joan. We'll at least give it a battle royale name. I don't think we can get away with that. Uh, yeah, legally we can. Will there be a lot of otters? There can be as many as we want. It'll be cute overload. Oh, people will love it. Which one of you did this? Which of you talentless hacks messed with my art? Calm down. We'll figure it out. Only blood can pay for this. Heads will roll. Tongues will be shorn from mouths. Guys, keep it down a little. People are trying to focus. Francine, you're the HR person. Do your job. I demand vengeance. Viper, whatever is going on here, I really don't care. Uh, you might want to check the latest build, Francine. I have to. Play it. Words cannot describe this atrocity. Okay, okay, fine. What's the problem? It looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. I'm surrounded by savages. Ah! Did you see the shark? Someone swapped it for a shiny next-gen 3D model. I didn't know our game could look so good. No, not good! This is an artistic disgrace. You did this, didn't you, Kevin? Uh, I don't even know how to open a 3D modeling program. You downloaded it from the internet! From some random asset market store or something. Dude, there's nothing wrong with asset markets. You don't want to have to rebuild the same generic desk every game. I'm above building desks, thank you very much. I meant like a general you, like all you artists. <laughs> Shows how much you know. It only starts with a desk. Then, one day, it's your main character. Next thing you know, you're addicted to this stuff, and your game is nothing but stock photos and pre-made environments and royalty-free sound effects, and then all the stock assets rebel against their masters and harvest your organs, and I've seen it happen! Hey, guys. Nice work on the new Shark Viper. Looks neat. Gah! I'm gonna go floss my eyeballs. You'll get used to it, Viper. Yeah, he'll be fine by tomorrow. Still, the art didn't just update on its own. I don't know. Sharks are pretty mysterious. Let us demystify this mystery pylon. You all knock yourselves out. I've got a meeting with Jeb. I don't really want to play this thing again, but I guess I'm gonna...
Hey, Jeb. You wanted something? Ah, uh, yes, there you are. So, we have some guests coming by later this week. Important executives with even more important money in their wallets. Yeah, so? So, I need you to spruce up this office a bit. We're looking drab and too... office -y. We need to look hip or, or artsy. This place needs to look so artsy that these people leave Friday feeling culturally outmatched, but ultimately warm and gooey about us. Friday? Like, two days from now? Look, it's okay because I know you're good at your job, and two days is a lot of time. It's not like tomorrow morning. Two days to pick out, assemble, and rearrange an entire office from scratch. All for some dog and pony show you gotta do? Why don't we spend that time on the game? These people are investors, Francine. They don't care about the game. They care about fancy, uncomfortable furniture and resin statues of things from our game. We don't have any resin statues from our games. Well, then resin statues from someone else's game. They won't know the difference. With no time. Really, Jeb? Like, really? What's my budget? Just make sure everything has a good return policy. You know. And keep positive. This is a growth opportunity. Right. So... Two days. Can do this. I'm gonna make the best damn redecorated office ever made. Morning, Ben. Lovely day, isn't it? Morning, Joan. Yeah, if holy shit! Man, what the hell? Y'all know there's a big-ass dinosaur in the middle of the office? Not now, Ben. There's a mystery to solve. Detective Pylon shall emerge victorious. Yeah, Francine brought that in a few minutes ago. She's got a truck full of stuff outside. Damn it. If it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, Francine. Do you know anything about the dinosaur? It's kind of blocking my desk. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Impulse buy from the checkout aisle. We can move your desk. Uh, you mean move the dinosaur? I didn't buy that thing to put it halfway across the office. I bought it to sit next to it. Hey, help me get some stuff off the truck. There's more? Yeah. I just discovered the most amazing store ever. You won't believe how cheap everything is. Now hop up here and help. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay. Okay. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Hmm. Nope. Do we need any of this stuff? That's not the point, Ben. Come on. 
Act American. Really, come on. A knife with dinosaur? I could have gotten the 18-foot one. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. It was a mess in there. Look, I didn't have time to be all delicate with it. I need to go back and get more. More? Francine, does Jeb know about this? Of course. I mean, mostly. He wants to impress some executives. With a crappy dinosaur. This is kitsch, not crap. This store is a godsend. They have wood-paneled water coolers and cheap carpets and crepe machines. The studio doesn't need a crepe machine. The studio doesn't not need a crepe machine. Can you bring these things inside? I'll be back soon. Where did all this stuff come from? Francine found some new furniture store or something. Oh, is it cheap random assets and provisions? They just opened up nearby. I'm not crazy, Emma. This stuff looks bad, right? Well, it doesn't quite match the office style. Ugh, that sofa looks like barf from the 70s. Where did all this junk come from? Francine's gone on a redecoration crusade. You didn't notice the dinosaur? Wait, that's real? I thought only I could see that. Yeah, it's real, dude. Hey, can you see the chandelier demons too? Uh, no. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this store and see if I can talk Francine down. Oh, can I come? They advertise on public access radio, you know. All right, well, Let's go quick. Okay, so Ben, Viper, and Julie all deny knowing anything about that new shark mesh. That leaves Jeb and Francine. You know Francine pretty well, right? Could it be her? Uh, yeah. Well, we don't talk too much anymore. But I don't think that fits her MO. What about Jeb? Jeb doesn't know how to turn on a computer. Ah, yeah, right. Any clues from the game itself? The new Shark Model's file name was temp underscore shark underscore revision b underscore final underscore final two underscore complete. Ah, the naming convention of an experienced developer, I see. Don't we have a change log for things like this? Uh, huh? She's right. Our backup system tracks every change. We just need to get that change log from the engineers. Awesome. Let's send them a note. Well, someone made us get rid of all our interns. No sacrificial interns, no help from the engineers. That's the rule. Unless we can find something else they want, right? Maybe we can bring them coffee. Everyone likes fancy coffee. Pylon, you're a tech artist. That's half engineer. Would an engineer like that? Definitely not. Not enough sugar. 
Chai tea lattes, then? That might work, but someone still has to go down there and deliver them. I'd go, but the engineers hate me. And if I go, I'll never come back. They've been trying to recruit me for years. Okay, fine. I'll go. How bad could it be? Would you look at this place? It goes on forever. This is a lot more than just office supplies. <gasps> hey, there's a Tim Curry poster. I did not know I needed that. Ooh, and kettle corn. Everyone likes kettle corn. We're not here to shop, Joan. We're here to stop Francine from shopping. Why not just take her company credit card away? Oh, there's a yarn section. I don't know about that. I mean, she said Jeb gave her approval. How good are you at sneaking? Joan? Joan? All right, I guess I'm on my own. You again, miss? This is your third visit today. Do I need to cut you off and call you a cab? Spare me the jokes. Just ring me up. Fine, okay, fine. Yoink, I'll take that. Ben, what are you doing here? Give that back! It was Joan's idea. Listen, we're just here to talk. We don't need all this worthless crap. Oh, no, no offense. Nah, it's okay. Give it back, Ben. I've totally got Jeb's okay on this. Really? Jeb wants you to buy a cardboard cutout of a cactus cowboy. This place is incredible, Francine. I know, right? Tell Ben to give me back the company card. Ben, look around a little. There's gonna be something you like, too. What in God's name is that? It says his name is t Pose Yorick on the tag. Give Francine back her card and let's check out already. Joan, you came here to help, remember? Look, that bastard gave me two days to redecorate the entire office. This store is the only reason he's getting anything. Now get out of my way. Ow! Huh, that was a bit extreme, Joan. I've never used somebody else to knock out a person before. Let's get him back to the office. Just so you know, this is probably a suicide mission, but that's okay, you can still go. All right. Just don't think about how dark it is, or about how the shadows call to you to join them forever. Uh, what? Okay, this is life or death. Now, it's important to not talk to anyone down there but the lead engineer. Yeah, no talking. That just riles them up. And make sure that they don't steal all your chais. You need to save one for the lead engineer. Here are some really dim holiday lights I found. You could use these to help you light your way. Are you sure you want to go? Um, no, not really. Well, it's too late to turn back now. We bought all these chives. Wait, how will I know which one is the lead engineer? Just look for the one with the most monitors. Engineers get their power from the number of monitors they have. You got this, Midge. Oh, man, my head. Joan, is that you? how we get back? Where's Francine? She's gone back to the store. Sorry I had to knock you out. You knocked me out? What the hell, Joan? Francine has a vision for the studio, Ben. I was blind before, but I see it now. And once you see what we've done, you'll see it too. Oh no. What did you two do, Joan? Have a look, Benjamin. What the hell are we gonna do with a cauldron? We're not a damn microbrewery. Are you real, Ben? Or are you another hallucination? Uh, yeah, I'm real, man. Francine's out of control, dude. Hmm, fake Ben would say something like that. Leave me alone, fake Ben. There's gotta be hearts inside that pottery. I know it. This is a Hugbot plushie. It's a limited edition plushie. Of all the things in here, I think the dinosaur makes the most sense. Okay, yeah, wood paneled water coolers look as cool as they sound. You will come to see things our way, Benjamin. An anchor. Right. Okay. Jeb, listen. Francine's lost it. She's gone ballistic. Hello, employee. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I gave Francine an important task, and I expect her to deliver. She's making our office look like a toddler sticker book. That sounds fun. I should go check, and I will. 
once I'm done pondering. Pondering time is crucial for a good boss. There, ben. What are you two doing in here? We're waiting for Midge. She's downstairs. Downstairs? With the engineers? Is she out of her mind? We're gonna solve the mystery of the shark. Mystery of the... what? Y'all are still on about that crap? Have you looked at the studio? No, we've been in here, doing important stuff. Duh. Why? Okay, look. Francine and Joan have gone rogue. They found some new weird store and they're redecorating the office. So? So... Oh, look, guys. We've got to wait for Midge. Just poke your damn head out there already. Huh, that's different. Ooh, there are so many things to look at. This looks wild. No, it doesn't look wild. It looks garish as hell, dude. God knows how much she's costing the studio. She's mad with power. All that detail is clouding my judgment, but I think you're overreacting. You know, now that I think about it, Francine can go on power trips. I heard that. Francine, you need to stop this. We can't work in a place like this. I can. We're supposed to be making a game. You made it look like an explosion at the Charm Bracelet Factory. You need an intervention. I figured you might try and stop me again. Luckily, they sell everything at cheap random assets and provisions. Even stock template game developers. Whoa, are those real? Hey, let's not do anything rash, Francine. Shut it, Kevin. There's one for each of you. And their faceless face things. Ha! Take my kick! Stop that! Ha! Ha! Super Take punch! Assets. Super punch! Ha! Take my kick! Ha! Ha! I'll never Ow, replace that, that stop you fiends! That. things. Super punch! Ha! Super punch! Stop that! Ha! Ow! Yeah! Stop that! Yeah! Stop that! Ouch! That hurts! Ha! Ha! Yeah! Real Super person. punch! Ouch! That hurts! Place us, you fiends! Super punch! Ha! Ha! Super punch! Ha! Ouch! That hurts! You're done getting in my way, Ben. Joan, keep an eye on them. You can't do this! Yeah! This is definitely against some HR policy. Oh, relax. I'll let you out on Saturday, once Jeb has his little... Hey! Put me down! You're supposed to listen to what I... Ah! You plastic moron! Don't you know you're under warranty? Well, now, that was rude. Let us out! <sighs> okay. So, no big deal. Just gonna go wander into a pitch black basement filled with God knows what while carrying chai teas. Just another work day, right? Right. Okay, don't let them get my chai tea lattes. Save them for the lead engineer. Please, your fancy drinks. Oh, God.
them the lead engineer hey open this door hello <sighs> follows directions my ass what's wrong with your friend nothing's wrong with handsome t-pose york this is just the way he is and he's perfect do these go down why would the arms need to go down is he alive hello in there Call me. <laughs> sorry buddy we don't speak bubble. Man, here I was hoping to have a normal, productive day for once. I hope you're happy, Francine. Oh, shut up, Ben. I was doing good work, and you know it. Yeah, well, your good work just took our jobs. Literally. Those things are sitting at our desks. Aw, they think they're people. Right. Like that will fool anyone? Whoa, Francine! This place is so over the top! Good work! Nothing I'm seeing makes any sense which must mean it's very artsy ah uh, yeah i knew you could deliver damn it francine learn to take a compliment i'll be in my office admit it francine you got a problem yeah these doppelgangers i mean all this not just these weird creepy ass mannequin things all that stuff out there that's the problem i tell you what Let's deal with the fake game developers first, and then we can talk about redecorating. Deal. Who do we still have on the outside? Uh, we got Jeb. Anyone useful? Julie. She hasn't left the recording booth since August. Maybe Midge. Where is Midge? Oh, right. Midge. Um, hello. Are you... The lead engineer? Hi, I'm Midge, the new animator. I, uh, I replaced Javier. Uh, sorry I didn't come down to introduce myself earlier. I know, kinda rude, right? Look, I don't wanna bother you all, but, um, something got changed with the build yesterday, and we're curious if you could, uh, check the logs? I brought you chai lattes. You want me to put them there? Uh, okay. Oh, this this is the check-in log. Check-in 4702, 12:15 a.m. Okay, so around midnight last night, submission notes Added revised shark model with fancy shaders. Contributor Midge P. This can't be right. That's me. Viper! Psst. Viper! Huh? Who's talking? Damn bees. I bet it was office bees again. Viper! Ugh, oh, damn it! Who is it already? Over here! Are you real Francine or fake Francine? I've been, like, seeing stuff ever since yesterday. I see stuff when I get mad sometimes. What? Let us out. Can't. Door handle's gone. But, yeah, they're like a bunch of faceless nightmare people out here. It's weirding me out, but they're fake. They're real. They locked us in here. Oh, man. There are more of you jokers in there? Look, uh, this situation is dire. The office is filled with hostiles. You're the only one who can save us. I knew this day would come. Okay, how do you kill these nightmares? They're not alive. They're just made of polystyrene. Really? Will they give you cancer if you lick them? Only in California. Whoa, whoa. Just so we're clear, I'm not licking anybody, okay? Focus, people. Just, like, 
set them on fire or something, Viper. You're kidding me. The one day I left my flamethrower at home. You have a flamethrower? Duh. I have the official Sweaty Blood 14 Collector's Edition Fully Functional Flamethrower. Signed by a bloody Chuck cosplayer. I guess I can run home and get it. No need. I got a flamethrower from that store. You have a flamethrower too? Uh, no. It's the office flamethrower. I think it's over by the wood chipper. We have a wood chipper? It was in the clearance section, okay? All right. So, get the flamethrower, set everything on fire. These things are toast. Ugh, overheated. Gotta let the flamethrower cool down. Bird, baby! Bird! Take this, big person thing! <laughs> Ugh, overheated. Gotta let the flamethrower cool down. Take this, fake person thing! Kill it with fire! Ow! <laughs> Fake person thing! <laughs> you're on fire, and you're on fire, and you're on fire too! Ugh, overheated. Gotta let the flamethrower cool down. Rawr, I am victorious! Viper? What's going on? What? We're free! Ha! Huh. I can't believe that worked! Thanks, handsome T-Pose, Yorick. Oh, damn! Viper, you set the studio on fire! Hey! What did you think would happen? Francine, what do we do? Why are you asking me? Use the fire extinguisher. That's on fire too! So, bad news everyone. As you all know, the studio caught fire today. We lost all the Francine's hard work. It turns out everything she bought was extraordinarily flammable. Yeah, I'm sorry I got carried away everyone. It was fun while it lasted, though, so I can't promise I won't do it again someday. Also, while structural damage was minimal, we've had to cancel our upcoming investor meeting. It's a real shame. It would have been great to get those investors in here. They can practically smell their wallets. That's smoke damage. On the plus side, insurance payout from the fire should keep us going for a few months. So, yay. Now everyone, get to work cleaning this place up while I go ponder this. Whew. Glad that's all settled. Who knew cheap goods were so dangerous? Oh, uh, Joan, we have to destroy Yorick, too. Oh, he'll be chained up in my basement, don't you worry. Well, all right, then. Hey, Midge, did the lead engineer tell you who added the shark mesh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they said it was a rendering optimization. Really? An optimization? I believe it. Engineers never lie. They refactor instead. Huh. All right. Well, I guess that means we can't change it back, huh? Viper won't be happy. We shouldn't change it back anyway. Have you looked at the meter? The meter? Oh! Hot heckin' damn! Four out of ten? Yeah. I've never seen that number go up before. Huh. Now we just need to keep that up till we release. Maybe we can convince the engineers to optimize their stuff more. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh.
Morning, Midge. Another fine day at the races, huh? Oh, hey, Kevin. Still can't believe we hit four out of ten on our predictor meter. <sighs> Today is gonna be a great day. Yeah, definitely. Hey, psst. Huh? Psst. Kevin, Midge, over here. Uh, I think that trash can is talking to us. Hello, trash can. Kevin, oh, thank God. It's me, Pylon. Oh, well, what's with the, uh, trash can? Yeah, I've got a thing going on. You can't see my face. Oh, like a pimple? No, I mean, uh, literally, you can't see my face. What are you talking about? Okay, look, but don't shout, okay? Gah! Who took your face? Pylon, are you okay? Yeah, uh, but I keep scaring little kids. We need to get you to someone fast. You two don't catch occasional bugs? Usually, I just sleep them off. Do you remember where you last saw your face? If we act quick, we can find it before someone runs over it. Oh, my face is still here. I just can't see it. The internet said it was probably a non-manifold topology issue. Or maybe inverted face syndrome. Inverted faces are totally a normal problem, right? Pylon. Nothing about this is normal. That's not what the internet said. We have to get you to a hospital. Like, now. Hold up. Uh, company meeting, folks. Ten o'clock, remember? Don't wait around for that. Kevin, isn't Pylon your best friend? Definitely, and I'm sure he would do the same for me. Oh, hey, do you still have your wisdom teeth? Wild. Stop looking at my wisdom teeth. Look, I can't go anywhere right now. My insurance card is in the studio, and I can't go inside like this. What? Here, put this on. Let's go find it. Kevin, you wait here with the car. Ah, I feel more normal already. This is a Canadian spider moose. Midge keeps her desk pretty clean. That's the sign of a completely trustworthy person. Pylon, is that you in there? Yeah, my dog, it feels chilly, okay? My insurance card should be here, but I don't see it anywhere. I should look around. Hey, Timothy, have you seen my insurance card? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Hey, Joan. I've lost my insurance card. Have you seen it? No. Have you asked Francine? She's the HR person, after all. Hey, Viper, have you, uh, seen my insurance card? What? No. Why would I care about that? Francine, have you seen my insurance card? I think I lost it. As a matter of fact, I did. In the microwave. You don't happen to know how it got there, do you? Oh, uh, right. Sorry, that was an experiment. You know us tech artists. Always tinkering. Well, tinker with something less important. Those cards are a pain to replace. I left it in the kitchenette for you. Noted. And thanks. Here you are, you sneaky insurance card. Circle up, everyone. Weekly meeting time. Oh, no. They're starting. All right, everyone. Let's get started. So, we officially reached a four on that uh, score meter thing. I don't really know what that means, but I assume you all do. And I'm disappointed in you. What? We've never gotten a meter that high before. We can't even figure out how we did it. You all know how surveys work. Anything less than a perfect score means we're leaving money on the table, team. Hey, who is that? It's me, Pylon. Yeah, he has in no way whatsoever proved that he is Pylon. Viper, stop that. Yeah, that's Pylon. He just wanted to wear a mask today. You could be anyone under there. You could even be a corporate spy. Ooh, or a real spy. Just take off the mask already. Why? What if he's cold? That's spy logic. He's definitely a spy. Why would anyone spy on us? No reason. No reason at all. I got him! Here! Ugh. 
slippery bastard. Stop it, Viper, that hurt. Ah! Ah! Holy crap, what is that? Ah! Everyone calm down, it's fine. Yeah, it's me. Dude, what happened? Stay back, Ben. Never trust anything without skin. It's a faceless spy thing. It's here to espionage us. Don't let him touch me. Ah, he will poison me. Oh, no. Who do you work for? The FBI? VSSE? I'll uppercut the answers out of him. Where is Pylon? I am Pylon. <sighs> I'll get the flamethrower. No time. Use this. Pylon, run! I'll think of something. Just stay Run away from away. the Come here, you faceless thing! Payback! Ouch! Ow, oh, oh, stop hitting Run me! Run away! Getaway car! Quick, Kevin, hit the gas! What? Why? Go, 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 just go! Go? Where? Away from Viper! And stay out! Hmm. Ah, that was close. Got the insurance card, though. Ah, great. So, where to? Well, I think I need to see a technical doctor. Aren't you a technical doctor? I'm a technical artist. We have less letters after our name, and we're much more sensitive. Hey, uh, if I get this thing fixed, you think they'll be nice to me back there? Who, Viper? He's not nice to anyone. Onward to the technical doctor. Man, that was terrifying. I thought I was going to have to step in there for a moment. Whew, I will have nightmares about that for months. You should get a bat. No one messes with anyone with a bat. Well, no, that was Pylon, right? He was sick and needed help. Pylon? Is that the skinny green guy? <laughs> Didn't look like him to me. Midge. It almost sounded like you were aiding the enemy. It was Pylon! I'm watching you, okay? You know, most of them did look green, y'all. Well, whoever it was, they're gone now. Good riddance, the monster. Hopefully, they'll be fine. Oh, hey, Midge. Someone left a letter for you this morning. Really? I... Uh, I don't think anyone even knows I work here yet. Well, whatever it is, it was dropped off by some guy with a big umbrella. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll, um, I'll go have a look. All right, let's see what this is. Meet today, Southwest Alley, 1 p.m. Come alone. This can't be good. No, you don't have inverted face syndrome. But I looked it up. All internet roads lead to inverted face. You probably just have rigonitis. For liability purposes, that's not an official diagnosis. But rigonitis didn't even come up on the list. You're a game developer, right? I don't look up how to make games on the internet, now do I? Yes, that's how you get into game dev. But just tell me how to fix it, Doc. Oh, it should clear up on its own within a few days, maybe a couple of weeks. That's not official advice, or else you'd need to sign an indemnification waiver. A couple of weeks? Come on, that'll take a million years! Well, now that I think about it, there is a procedure that a specialist could do. Uh, that's not a referral, or else I'd have to charge you a referral fee. Ooh, tell me about it! Unfortunately, your insurance doesn't cover any specialists. Or the procedure. Or this visit, really. Then who pays you? Mr. Pylon, please calm down. I know it's complicated, but... You just told me you can't help me. That's because you need to see a specialist. Who I can't even pay for. Your insurance doesn't cover elective procedures. My face is not elective. Whoa, are we going? Uh, okay. What was that all about? Rigonitis? Does this look like rigonitis to you? Oh, that stuff is great with Alfredo sauce. I know it's inverted face syndrome. I'm not some uneducated mass here. I know how to vet my sources. Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. You seem to have a problem that is technical in nature, yes? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, who are you? I am someone who can help. What if I told you I knew of other ways to solve technical problems? You seem really, really shady. Thank you. Here, take my card and tell me. Did you speak to a doctor today? I sure did. They told me they couldn't help me. This is too bad. If only there was someone who could help you in this time of trouble. Huh? I mean to say there are others beyond that doctor or this system. 
Uh, you mean Canada? Oh, that's a great idea. What? No, that's not what I meant. Right, Canada, let's go! Onward to government-run healthcare, my friend. Thanks, Shady Stranger. So, uh, how do we get to Canada? It's easy. We go up. Canada is always up of us. But we can't drive there. That'd be absurd. Yeah, that's how they get you. Right. We'll take the sewers, Pylon. Let's go. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. It's dangerous to go alone. I found this in the trunk of Midge's car. It's very nice of Kevin to wait back there while I clear the path to Canada. Okay, so... Canada is probably this way. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space. Ah, Canada, where the air is crisp and... Uh, hey, I thought Canada was cold. It is, so long as it isn't the first Thursday in September. We're in the middle of their summer. What luck! Now, to find someone to put you back together, my faceless friend. There's gotta be someone in that town down there. Let's go, Pylon! There you are. Right on time. Yeah. What do you want? We've been watching you. So? And how do you think you have done in your mission? They're not making a good game. It's what you wanted, right? Happy? Is the game better than it was yesterday? It doesn't matter if it's better. It's still not good. Our intelligence suggests it is trending the wrong direction. Is that your handiwork? I've barely gotten used to working there. That didn't answer the question, Miss Potter. Do you know why the director chose you? Yeah, because you could blackmail me. You have a particular set of skills. We expect you to use those skills. But who are you all, anyway? We're just humble civil servants doing our duty, Miss Potter. And so are you. Now, please do as we ask. And I promise you this will come to an end. Hello, how may I help you? Whoa, I think their receptionist is a robot. Ooh, how futuristic. Excuse me, is this where I could see a technical doctor? Please take a number. Hey, look at that, a robot that does something. We should get one of those. Thanks. Oh man, that's a terrible number. Ooh, this could take a while. Ah, I feel great. Nothing like a dip in the old regeneration pool. I'm glad our restorative bath has restored your vitality. Yeah, between that and the healing ray, I feel more animated than I've felt in years. Cool, healing rays? Oh, I did a healing ray. See you next time I catastrophically injure myself, robot. We eagerly await your further injury. Me too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go run a marathon now. Bye. <sighs> Don't worry, I've got a plan. We've just got to find someone in that crowd with a low number. Now calling number seven. Ah, oh, number 14. How long have you been waiting? Oh, since the 90s. Uh, cool. I don't think I should go near this person. I might get hurt. Uh, looks like it's something in the 70s. There are definitely lower numbers. 65. At least they're double digits. This person has the number 239. That's rotten. Hey, hey there. What number do you have? 
12. Shouldn't be long now. Oh, yeah. That's really good. I should talk to Kevin about you. What? Huh? Huh. Where's he going? Uh, looks like you and me both have the rigging issues today. Even though this person has a giant head, I still can't tell if they're staring at me or not. Oh, man. Graphical glitches. I should keep my distance. Ooh! I wonder how this person got all robotic. I have found the person with the lowest number. Great. Okay, just play along with me here. <clears throat> Can we buy your spot in line? Uh, sorry? Worry not, friend. We can compensate appropriately. Oh, yeah. We'll pay top dollar. Well, maybe not literally top dollar, but uh, I do have some half-used gift cards, and I have dozens of followers on social media. Uh, you know, they're all yours. Just name your price. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you American? Uh, who wants to know? <gasps> Americans! Get them out of here before they steal our health care. Oh, they'll tell everyone back home. They can't leave here alive. Hey, hey, I thought Canadians were supposed to be, like, super nice. Super polite and super nice are not the same thing. Prepare to die, uh, please. Yeah. Well, that's the first time I've ever been run out of an entire country. That was pretty fun. I normally only get run out of grocery stores. I had no idea that Canada's health care system was so cutthroat. Also, unfortunately, we're out of options. Huh? What's that? It was in my pocket. That weird shady person gave it to me. Ooh, do you think they were a technical doctor? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Damn colors, go where I tell you. No, that will never work on this, no. What was I thinking? Oh. Hey there, Timothy. I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Right. Okay. Timothy, would you let your friends down if it meant you could avoid something bad happening to you? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Those creeps can tell the whole world if they want. I can't let this team down. Ah, hello there. I knew you would come eventually. Hi, my name is Pat. Ah, ah, ah. No names here, and I only work with cash. You can call me Dr. I.K. My associate is Mr. F.K. Just between us, I'm the forward-thinking one here. Oh, secret code names. Okay, uh, well, call me Don Ketchup. Yeah, and, uh, you can call me, uh... Pylon. Hey! All right, don't catch up and pylon. What seems to be the problem? Right, so, can you fix this? Sacred Vertex! I haven't seen a case of rigor porcus that bad in quite some time. Now I feel special. So it's not rigoditis? Definitely not. And it's not non manifold topology or mal weighted birds? No, definitely rigor porcus. Terminal rigor porcus, I'd say. Oh no! <gasps> How terrible are Come inside and let's talk. You have come to the right place. Oh, Midge, have you seen Pylon? What? Oh, uh, no, is everything okay? The current build of the game is a disaster. I can't get any work done without crashing, and the surfer guy has a rocket launcher now. Well, uh, I'm sure he's fine. The surfer guy? I should hope so with that rocket launcher. Hey, what was that litter all about earlier? Anything juicy? No, not really. Just the uh, junk. Oh, I meant to tell you. The guy who dropped it off, the one with the umbrella, he had a message for you. Oh? Yeah, he said, tell her I hope that Mr. Snuffles is okay. Oh. I told him I'd never heard you talk about a Mr. Snuffles, but you know, even though you've only been here a few weeks, you never do really talk about your home life much. That's okay, neither do I. But in my case, it's for your own safety. Mitch? Mitch? Mitch! What? Oh! Huh? Yeah. Han, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Dr. I.K.? You need tech doctor, no? Mr. F.K., who is best tech doctor? <laughs> you, my friend. See, Mr. F.K. says I am best. So, what is this involved? 
don't catch him. You look in mirror. Oh no, you say, you see missing face? Such a regrettable morning. But the real problem is that you only see the problem skin deep. The core of your troubles. This is deep within you, Don Ketchup. Like my spine? Look, it's slightly reticulated, but that's never caused issues before. No! Deeper. My spleen? Your mind is holding back the recovery. You hold on to this dream of who you were yesterday. But tomorrow, you can be someone new. In your head, you hold the key to the problem. But my head is what's missing. Yes, and this is our specialty. Mr. FK can find new head. Yes, Mr. FK? You buy the ice, I bring the part and the head. I don't want a new head. I liked my old one. Oh, but this is better. You could have any head. Do you like this child man's head? Why would anyone want his head? Hey, yeah. We got the website. You pick one out online. Listen, shady doctor person. I just want my old head back, Doc. It's where my nose lives. <sighs> okay, okay, there is a way. You think he could take it, Mr. FK? Okay, okay, you're the boss. Yes, the machine is not exactly the most state-approved of machines, but if your head is around here somewhere, this will find it. How? It hits you many times, right where head should be. Hmm? What? How does that work? Technology is a wonderful thing, my friend. If I wanted someone to hit me on the head, I would have let Viper do it. It knocks sense back at the head. Shows heads who is boss, eh? I don't think I like the sound of this. Put the machine on him, please! <laughs> Heads up! Commence operating the machine! Ow! That oh, there's a progress meter around my face! I better get all the stars before it fills! Oh, come on, quit that! Oh, what's that thing all about? Oh! Ah. Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh! A few more hits! Yes! Yes! Victory hurts Don Ketchup, but it is still victory and it tastes so sweet. Hey, your head! It's back! Oh, really? Awesome! Did you doubt my abilities? Your non-manifolds have been un-non-manifolded! That's great. Except there's a ringing in my ears and I keep saying white flashes. Side effects will fade, uh, someday. Now remember, this thing we have done, it is not everything you need. Inside, you are still someone else. Can't change insights. We tried once. Wasted a lot of ice on this day. But we can change your outsides! When you want a new head to match your heart, you know where to find us! So, what did he mean by all that inside your someone else stuff? I think he was just trying to upsell me. Huh. Probably. Ugh, creepy. Oh, hey you two, where have you been? Yeah, we needed a personal day, okay? Uh, do you think Jeb noticed? Well, let me tell you, I noticed. The game has been broken all day and we sure could have used your help. Where were you all day? I had to go talk to, uh, some other technical people. About, uh, technical things. I'll get right in there and have a look, Joan. Sorry. Well, better late than never. I'm glad to see your face, Pylon. Oh, yeah. You and me both, Joan. You and me both. 